Good morning, everybody. Chef Jonathan Collins returns this morning to celebrate Oktoberfest. Happy October. Happy. You know what? Turkey hangover, but uh, we're shifting gears. We're already into a new celebration. Okay, and yeah. you've got some specific apples you enjoy. Sweet tango apples. So you know how much I love Canadian produce? Well, these have won the world record for the largest crunch. No. <laughs> I'm going to slice a bite piece off of this so that you can try it. Like, try like on a, like a decibel scale? They said, decibel what is scale, the most those ones okay. killed it. Ready? Shh, shh. Listen. Mm -hmm. Tastes great, eh? Very loud and, loud and proud. Bring us to the next Jays game, everybody. Crunch. So we made a Dutch baby. Oh, how and nice. Dutch and baby, are they good? <laughs> they're so good. How they're, they're light and they're fluffy. And I want to show you how easy mm. it is to prepare one. I've got a hot pan. Now, don't even think about touching this. This is a little bit like making a Yorkshire. Okay. So we're going to take that and just a little bit of butter in the bottom. So you already heated the pan. It has to be preheated. And what that does is it gives lots of volume. So then we've got some beautiful sweet tango apples. What did you put on the apple? Literally just a little bit of butter, tiny little bit of sugar, and it caramelized. So the nice thing is you're developing flavors ahead of time. How long, Chef? Uh, this was 10 minutes. On medium? Uh, this was on medium high. You really want to throw the heat on, stay with them. And then this is the exciting part. So the batter, recipe online, you just literally pour it over top. Oh, and you let it coat through like so. No Isn't fuss, no Isn't that mass. beautiful? So then what you do is just take and slide this. I've got a nice little oven down That's here. That's like a pie, a whole wheat pie batter? For it, you know what? It's Ish. just like a Yorkshire batter. Very, very simple. Eggs, flour, milk. Everybody's got this in their, uh, in their refrigerator. All on our website. Okay. Yeah. So braising. I want to teach you a really great technique. This is the end result. So we've got this gorgeous pork shoulder. Uh, this can be pulled and used either in soups or we're going to make a beautiful bun with it topped with beautiful uh, whole grain mustard and the uh, and the topping we've got going in. This smells amazing. What is that? Is that wine in there? So I've got some hard cider in here, some of the sweet tango apples and shallots, and I've sautéed them and then deglazed the pan. That's really critical. Now this is boiling. And what I want to do is just slide that right inside. Now, braising is cooking in a small amount of liquid. Okay. So we're going to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then how long are you leaving it to braise? This is two to three hours. And the really important thing is that it's covered. So okay. we must cover it. It's got to go in the oven about 325. And that low and slow temperature, that just separates the pork beautifully, breaks down all that tissue. And then what you're left with is this. So let's have a look at what Do it actually looks like. Do you turn it over at all? Do you check on it? Do you lift the lid? No. No. The beautiful okay. thing about braising is you just put it in and forget about it. And then what you end up with, and I did this last night at home, is you just have this beautiful texture. So there's all that natural. Now, it has rendered a lot of the excess fat, which is nice as well. So what you can do with that is take a bun like this. OK. And this is what Kev was dreaming for. Yeah. Right, Kev? Yes. <laughs> Kevin, this one's for you. <laughs> Kev, this one's for you. So this let's is for you. top it. So it's so Kevin, you, do you just like pull mustard? it off. Yes. Like mustard? Yeah, so he likes silly his question. <laughs> And so one of the things that I love about braising is you're making the garnish as you go along. So we've got this beautiful oh, apple apples. chutney that's nice. developed right alongside it. What makes it a chutney versus a sauce? The well, thicker pieces? It, it, um, yeah, it's a little bit of uh, the chunk, but also the way that it's prepared. So it's got some fresh herbs yeah, and well, also... And the mm. mustard? That's interesting. Right? Well, because yeah. you have sweet, yeah. sour, you Tangy. have bitterness Savory. and the astringency. Yeah. So then you close that baby. And you Kevin? know who's your uncle? All right. Jonathan Collins is your uncle, not Bob. <laughs> but don't put on that one. There you go. Okay, take it you, easy. Take, no you're going to wear that if you're okay. not careful. So I want to take you down here for... And? Mm -hmm. Right? Nice, nice, oh. sweet. Yeah, go over there. I'll be over there. Okay, Kevin, okay. enjoy, Just enjoy. You'll be in the corner for a few minutes. What do you have here, Chef? So then the, one of the big things, obviously, about Oktoberfest is beer and sausage. Yeah. So this is a great way to enjoy it. We've got some brats here. And what we did is we started off with a nice raw sausage. So I'll grab this and show yeah, you. Yeah, what sort of sausage are you asking so for? So mild, medium, hot, whatever your flavor, whatever you like. You can get white sausage. There's all kinds of classics in store right now. 
Uh, but again, paired with this unbelievable sauerkraut in this great recipe, what you're doing is braising them, reducing them, and creating a sauce as you go. On a stovetop versus the oven? Yeah, this, so this is stovetop. So the nice thing is you don't need expensive equipment. You just need a few simple recipes and the right techniques, and you'll get the great results. And the beautiful fresh herbs make all the difference. I could smell totally. that rosemary. It's totally. stunning. It's stunning. It's beautiful. So that's coming up. And so what you can do, the light, nice thing about this is you can take this straight to the the table. Yeah. Take some buns. It, is this should... melting, chef? No, no, no. It's heat oh, safe. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. okay but you it. should. Uh, this is hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This, this is hot, but you got to try these as well. The apples, when they're caramelized like that, yeah. they're just gorgeous. I'll let that cool down, everybody. For all the recipes posted on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. You're not kidding with the sweet tangle. It packs a crunch. It does. It and your recipes pack sure. a punch. Yeah. Kev, how you doing over there? I, I made a mess. Oh. All right. Big surprise. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Yeah. Everybody, we'll be back with more BT. Right after this, clean up all four. Yeah. That's why you can't have nice things. No, I know.